Come on, Taker, please. Come on, man. I was just playing, man. I just wanted one more match. Well, you said you wanted buried alive, so you're getting buried alive. Choke slam. Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. We're going to be looking at Elite Series 85. Undertaker, Becky Lynch, and Liv Morgan. If you guys want to pick any of these up, of course, hit that link in the description below. Discount code HERO is going to save you 10%. Dead man coming up here one more time. The last ride, right? WrestleMania 36. It was him. It was a boneyard match. There was a tractor. There is a future playset, too, that is scheduled to be released. So, again, man, turn on that notification because you don't want to be missing any of that sauce. Now, the full figures that you are seeing in the back, we already did take a close look at Bray Wyatt. Carrie and Cross, as well as Alistair Black. So go on the channel and check out the content. If you guys are stopping by, of course, for the first time, and that's the look that I'm going to give you, man. You're like, wait, you're coming over here. This is the very first WHF visit. We're going to make it memorable. We'll make it extra special for all those new subscribers. And we're going to go ahead, do the giveaway. That's right, man. It went live. Elite Series 85. When Elite Series 86 comes in, that's when that winner will be announced for any of these figures right here within the series. Pretty excited for this. Now, the final two. Oh, dude, this is going to wrap it up real nice. Accessories, we are going to be getting a shovel. We're going to be getting the bandana. Oh, it's already breaking on you, WHF. What are you doing? No, man, that's actually one of the features. You pull it off. If you want to smash it across your opponent's head, all you have to do is slip it in there. Prior match, early match, later on, that's all you're going to get. Now, if you want a comparison with something that has been released right here, here is a prime example. This is from the early days and still one of my favorites that have been released, whether it's by Jax, Mattel. This is definitely one of my faves, man. We got the whole freaking grain effect. This, they're just like, you want some green? Sure. You want a little shovel piece? Now, there is, of course, a plus up on this. The fact that you can actually break it in half when it does do the impact, right? You get your opponent's face. Let's get Undertaker. This is a perfect one, right? This is the last release, the 30-year anniversary. This is how we're celebrating. Bam! Wait, that didn't break. <laughs> Let's try it again. We'll do it from the other side. Bam! They, oh, I don't even know where it went, man. We had already went flying. We haven't reviewed the figure. Taker, what are you doing, man? I'll tell you what else we're doing. The other accessories, you're also going to get interchangeable hands. You're going to get two choke slam hands, and the ones that are on the figure, they're going to be two mic open. Bandana is going to be leveled up from prior releases, the ones that we have seen. They've been a little bit short as opposed to what we're getting here. Here's the one that we got right here with the most recent Undertaker. Of course, that one was black, so we did improvise with an earlier Elite to wrap that around right here with uh and here's the other thing too that you're probably going to notice if the bandana has been scaled up what does that entail what is that going to mean for the actual undertaker scan biggest thing that i've noticed from all the images is the whole size proportion now we actually did see a grade level up from the one prior because this one was pretty big like if you do a quick side-by-side -side scale comparison on this this one is like almost twice the size the depth the chin the whole circumference on this one has definitely been turned up so you can see right there as to what we mean this one too man this one is kind of right alongside with this one with the 30 year anniversary and all three are good and for their own time like this younger undertaker this is what works later taker both of these either play and this the whole hair i want to definitely get a good a close look on how this was presented man now it is sitting kind of high that's probably the first thing that you're picking up but i did just go ahead and insert it because once you do slide it down it's all going to be determined on how gangsta how much g does undertaker want to get right are we feeling saturday g nope are we feeling friday g you damn skip dude it's friday and we ain't got shit to do <laughs> Let's slide it back up. There's the eyes. So again, I do like the overall like scale, like how they graded it from right here towards the bottom, coming all the way to the very top. Once you do pull it off, you'll see that the different look on the 30 year anniversary, it's going to be something different from what we saw on that Elite. Now coming back right here, it is going to wrap around. It's going to meet all together and show you the ponytail. Here's the official unveil of old Dead Man Taker. The guy still got hair, man. Here's the thing. If you've been in the business for as long as this man has and the fact that he's got one hair two no gray <laughs> hey man that is definitely a huge job i love this scan i think this undertaker expression love this the vest too there is so much sculpting they really did a lot of work right here within the tooling up front all these buckles the studs they're all meeting real well even the way that the shoulder pieces unite up top you can see how damn good this undertaker logo on the back turned out man coming back right here you can see more of that stud work carrying through to the top portion 
person and then working your way down to the legs. You'll see that the rest of the magic does continue. Even right here with the cross, you'll see one on the right side on the actual left. It'll kind of be a three effect versus like a longer one that actually wraps up inside the actual pants. And I do like too, here's the biggest thing, like anytime that you're doing this kind of like shirt style, this is a tough one because I know that they tried with that SummerSlam. I think it was Elite Series 68, but they ended up tucking it in. This is more ideal. Like this is what I would have preferred to see in the American Badass in, but instead we got that whole, I don't know, man. I didn't, I was not a big fan of that and I'm sure a lot of you weren't. So I really do hope at some point they end up redoing that figure because it still has a lot of chance. It still has, what do they call it? I think it's called money memory, right? So go ahead, man. Drop a like if that's something that, that's something you guys would also love to see for a future taker. Like if they go date back to early attitude era, I'm giving this a 9.8, really clean taker, the vest, the shirt, the rest of the fig. If you guys didn't see the articulation, go on the channel, see if Liv Morgan is going to bring the heat or if Hero Figs, if you broke, no, we didn't forget the knife, man. It's still right next to you. You just unboxed the Undertaker. Now it's time for Liv Morgan. Here she is. You want a little side by side? We can do both, man. This is the packaging benefits, right? The brand new style is going to bring you two different looks. You'll either get the side or you can do both at the same time. Both of them are going to work well. And damn, side of the packaging looking just as hot as a damn figgy in and of itself. Back right here, she's from New Jersey. She's five foot three. Perfect scale. Jump around. Let's get it going. Here she is for those that have been patiently waiting. She is here and ready to get reviewed. Now, for the accessories, we are going to get two mic open. The ones that are on the figure on the right side, we'll get the L. That's like that Fortnite action. And then on the left, you'll get the open. Once we'll pull it off, you'll get a little bit more action going on with that. Now, here is the fabric. And yes, man, if you are just getting out of the shower, let's go ahead and dry you up. We'll go ahead and put it on. We'll see if it's going to go ahead and clear up every single watermark because that's what it's dropping man if we were to have emojis going across the screen right now that's all that would be happening right now watermarks upon watermarks that's what i'm seeing dude it's definitely a bathrobe here fix it's not a bathrobe if it was a bathrobe we wouldn't be talking about Liv morgan coming up here finding out why why the heck man what's going on with this whole tv time and these ladies pretty cool figgy gonna give you the best close-up stands as to where she stands now here's the thing about my scan not sure if this ended up happening with yours but i'm definitely getting a misprint at least on the eyes they're sitting a little bit too far to the right i think if they were to be a little bit more aligned this scan might be doing something for me and that's look that's more of a qc thing that's not the actual like what they were trying to entail with the figure so for me oh man come on dude what did you do is it the eyebrows is it the eyes or is it the way that the lips are hero fix let's go ahead and check out the hair see if there's any freaking shit oh there's no shading the lady likes it bright not so much dude if you do look at the side of the packaging you'll see a little bit of like yellow effect they could have incorporated it, right? I know we've seen it. Like, recent figures that Mattel has released, they've still went ahead and incorporated, even though for something that is, you know, really bright, the way that they sh that she's coming out. For the gear, I can't necessarily say that because that's the style she likes to wear. She likes the full-on black, but I do like what they did. I Look, they could have easily, and this is a very common thing, too, like, normally with basics, not so much with the elites, but the biggest thing is that anytime you got any kind of, like, mold work going up front, most of that is painted. So the fact that this has all been tooled accordingly hey dude this is freaking gonna do a lot even regardless of the misprint in and of itself points of articulation i definitely want to cover it because i'm seeing a lot of new molds being brought within here the knee pads look at this you guys really like what they did with the boots so what happens with the knee pads it'll start up top and it'll start carrying all the way through right here and you'll still get all that action coming down even behind the knee pads so they added all that extra most of the time too and i'm gonna say this with the elite two pack because i'm pretty sure that was the thing with the triple h where you know the whole design whether it was white whether it was black it wasn't brought in with this not only is it actually being brought but it's actually also sculpted you're feeling all that action right here even on the left side within the straps that being said it's time to test the articulation we're going to start from the ground up you are going to get the ankle articulation that will go forward and back there will be also calf you're going to get a double hinge even with the ladies yes that is very much a thing with the ladies now the the knee pad it is 
going to interfere. You can see it's only going to be able to go about this far. You'll get the upper thigh cut. Legs do go forward about this much, that much back. And as far as them going this far wide, look at that, dude. That is the right position that everybody wants to be in. And if you can't do it, you know what? A little practice and training will definitely be able to execute it. You're going to get the waist swivel for the ab crunch. Not so much, even though you are still getting the whole freaking action going on right there. That's about as far forward as she'll go and about this far back. Now, continuing up here, you are going to get articulation in the shoulders on the upper part as well as the upper bicep swivel. There is only going to be one hinge on the actual elbow piece. And then for the wrist articulation, you can pull it forward, pull it back in a full 360 for the scan as well as both hands. So there it is. How are we going to rank it? Well, we don't know because we haven't even put on the bathrobe yet. She's still wet. So what are we doing? We're drying it up, man. We are getting it all cleaned up. We're even going to put it on over the head so that way you can get the full effect. Most people end up removing the hands but today we're doing a figure review man we're doing it properly and i'm giving her a damn 10 even though look here's the thing if my misprint wouldn't have came out the way that it did i think she would have easily surpassed that and she might be ranking pretty hot within the full series because now that becky lynch is technically the last member we can bring in all six of them see how they rank how did they end up doing and is the women's money in the bank going to be able to be executed within the actual packaging or in the figgy in and of itself i do like the way that it was already pre like for anybody that keeps their figures in the packaging this is exactly what we're looking for so let's get her out so we can even check out that women's title that has already been brought accessories for the hands we're going to get a mic open for the left a close fist on the right and then vice versa on the figure right here now for the money in the bank briefcase here it is i'm going to go ahead and open it up because this has been brought in the men's and the ladies today we got the full line white we got the green we got some gold and is there anything inside the briefcase moment of truth let's go ahead and do the drum roll Drrr, nothing <laughs> it will tell you though the origin it'll tell you that it was 2010 wwe what are we in 2021 and they're still giving us the same print you know the laziness you don't want to go out and represent what's the whole thing man like was this made in 2010 and then they hopped in a delorean brought it into the present and gave it that date i don't don't know man we're just taking guesses at this point because as what are, as far as we know becky lynch she doesn't want to come out man she's got a little bit of rubber band so this is what we'll do we'll slide it out nice and gentle very carefully get the execution properly because that's what it is man it's the one shot wonder rubber bands on top of rubber bands and that's how they end up keeping like the whole belt or really anything like if they're doing it too sweet you put a rubber band if they're getting an angry face you put a rubber band if you ain't doing nothing you still put a rubber band <laughs> let's take it off because i know you guys want to see what is going on right there within the women's title now i am seeing a little bit additional and i could be wrong but i do believe that the women's title this is the way that it should have been brought a long time ago hero fix what the hell are you talking about they already brought it on the prior series prior to you know, we'll do it. we got to do it with becky lynch damn nabbit we got to see if the fiery lady is going to bring fire today let's go ahead and do the old dogo bring the fire we're nuts over here man this is the kind of fun that you guys are missing out of you are stopping by now for the gear i actually do have the ultimate edition and i tried reflecting this with a combination of two different ladies obviously becky lynch being the primary and hot rod rowdy ronda that's what she wanted to do right with the arms so instead what they did is with elite series 85 is like dude let's go ahead and do it out the gate you don't gotta be doing your own adjustments the scan don't gotta be angry and i do yeah we already got the same piece here fix we got to with the hair tucked back today we have it with the hair tucked down and both of them i like both and i definitely like the top now here's the thing i'm definitely noticing that Liv morgan is definitely benefiting from the sculpt like all the tooling on her actual top it was done up for becky lynch they just wanted to throw in an extra lady and that's the way that they did it man all this is actually painted none of this has been sculpted and look that's the whole budget man if you're trying to find a left or a right what are they going to do they're going to find the best way around it and here's the waist you can see that you're are going to get a little bit of action going on right there it's hard to pick up because you know both of them are black the actual tights and the design in and of itself is also black but you can definitely see as to what they were coming in right here and trying to be brought in on points of articulation exact same gem that we have seen so really not much except what we got to do is definitely wrap up all the figures from elite series 85 to determine as to where all they all stand we're going to bring in bray white and i think for a lot of people this was the piece that needed to be brought right here 
here for the Firefly Funhouse. Carry and Cross, too. We cannot forget about the gentleman that's going to be completing Series 120 for the basic. And then Alistair Black. Let's go ahead and point out the obvious, man. I'm sure a lot of you guys are seeing this. But this series, dude, it's a pretty damn dark series. <laughs> like, you got Undertaker, right? Lord of Darkness, yada, yada. Bray Wyatt. Well, we don't got to be talking about Bray Wyatt because we already know what the hell they're doing over there. Carry and Cross, I'm going to tell you this. Ranking number one for sure. I'm still giving it to Bray Wyatt. I wanted to see the success. I wanted to see them fix up what they ended up missing out on the ringside exclusive. Number two, I got to give it to the dead man. That vest should have been the same thing that we should have seen with Elite Series 68. And again, Mattel, please do that because that figure still has a lot that we could go ahead and execute for future releases. Next up, I got to give it to Karrion Cross, And then following after that, Liv Morgan, you would have definitely been one up had that scan not been misprinted. Right here, Aleister Black following becky lynch love you my lady but at the same time we've done up with what we're getting right here i want to thank you guys for watching and also give me your thoughts man let me know how you guys feel about the full set overall as an overall set this is ranking pretty high this is all like top notch for every single character be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one let's cash it in lettuce